Getting Started, Coding and Programming on TI Technology. In this video, we're going to look specifically at troubleshooting with the TI Rover. When troubleshooting with the TI Rover, there's a couple of common areas to address. First, I have a program here about moving the RV forward. I'm going to run this program and I get error messages and it starts uh, ends with the TI innovator is not present. In this case, I had the innovator, the A to B cord plugged into my innovator, but I did not have it plugged into my handheld. So I can plug that in. I will go back to this file and I will run it again and see if that fixed it. And now I get an error message. I hear the beep and it also tells me that the TI Rover is not powered. So on the power, this is one of the most common mistakes of it's not turned on. So now if we turn the TI Rover on, then let's try one more time to see if we can get this to work. And when we run the program this time, we have success. One other area that you might want to address is if it's all plugged in, if you've checked the cords to make sure that they're plugged in well and the rover is turned on. Another area is to make sure that the Innovator Hub sketch is updated. Click on the PDF for other troubleshooting areas.